that drink. Obviously we're not drinking the toilet water but as a principle he doesn't agree with it. So this is the toilet. Um, he goes to the woods and collects um, leaves and crushes them up so they're thin like this and um, basically you poo in a hole, you cover it with uh, leaves until it's gone and then there's no smell. It's actually a lot less smellier than a toilet and you just use the brush to brush all the bits in after you finish so this is the toilet of the place and then when it gets high he takes it out and basically composts it over there so this is where i stay and this is like a conservatory type place um we keep the water here to drink that we've collected from the spring this is his pelinka um, that he makes himself, cherry, pear, um, plum, I think. And these are all his vegetables that he keeps for the winter, just in vinegar. Um, we keep all the pots and pans here for cooking and you can prep our stuff inside. Um, for washing up, we use like this tap uh, to fill up water and take it outside to um, wash. Up here is the boiler and just place that you don't really go upstairs much. This is Mihai's house that he's cleaning. Layer. Pardon? My layer. His layer, yes. I'll turn the lights on. Um, he sleeps on. Can I show them the bed? Of course. He sleeps on wood. He doesn't have a mattress, he just sleeps on wood and lots of blankets. And it's a lot better for your back, he said. These are all made from hay and they're very comfortable. Surprisingly, I didn't think they would be. Um, basically everything in his um, house is natural, so the paint's made from limestone, right? Yeah, the limestone. Yeah. And the walls are made from earth. The walls are made Rammed from earth. ground earth. Rammed. Rammed. Yes, it's like uh, you when you ram some... It, it's like compacted earth. Compacted earth? Oh, I didn't know that. They're about very thick, like 60 centimeters thick. Oh, wow. So yeah, he's got very thick walls. All of the... Uh, so the... The blanket's made from wool, so it's very... Um, warm and obviously it's not bad for you um, but the only problem is you can't wash it um, and yeah so everything in here has a wardrobe and a cooker for the in for the winter that you like with the fire right fire. yeah his cupboards for food and his apples that he finds and this is his fancy toilet that he he calls the fancy toilet because this is the toilet that nobody uses but sometimes he has people that don't like to go to the toilet outside and his shower and he made me some toothpaste out of, what was it? Clay, charcoal, Clay, charcoal and coconut oil. oil. And, and um, maybe there are some, uh, in that, what you have there, there's some uh, eggshells too. And some eggshells and it cleans your teeth really, really well. I know it might look disgusting, but um, it's a natural way for toothpaste to be made and it cleans, my teeth feel very clean and very um, white. This is the entrance. It's only small but I love it. Um, there's a small little stove, a sink that the water doesn't run. Um, there's a bathroom in here but he just says to go outside. Let me show you. Sink and toilet. Um, and yeah, so this is where I'm going to be staying for at least a few nights. The first thing that we always need to do is check that we've got enough water. So that is not really enough water for the day because it's really hot at the moment. It's about 30 degrees. So um, we always need to just walk down to the spring. It's quite easy to get lost, but you can always just hear the sound of the running water if you're really quiet. And um, that always guides you back to the place. Romania. Um, when I was telling everyone I was going to Romania, they were like, 
were like, why do you want to go to Romania? But this is why. I mean, there's probably so many places in the world like this, but just kind of want to show the world how incredible, I mean, the countryside of Romania is, and also how incredible his lifestyle is, I think. This is natural soap. Natural soap? So we've grated natural soap into my washing and basically you just, it's a hand washing which I don't usually do at home, I think like most people. So yeah. So we're just having some like lunch and it's corn porridge type thing and he's just set up the table Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. I've got apple because I hate well, that. This is Jerry Palinka. Jerry Palinka. He makes it. Do you make it yourself? Oh, well, yeah. Oh. I make those wild cherries. If you could smell how strong it smells, it makes me feel weird. <laughs> well, yeah, maybe. Does it keep you going? Well, it's like more like a digestive. Oh, okay. Uh, something that helps your digestion if you just a little bit if you like a teaspoon anyway let's eat yes let's eat <laughs> What I'm doing here is the washing up. So basically, in this pot is ash from the fire, and it looks like this. Um, it looks really dirty, but it's actually not. It has loads of different properties that you can use it for. Um, and so basically, what I do is I just put it in the dish like powder, add a tiny bit of water, and then it kind of mixes into like a paste, like that. Take a scourer, and it just it's really easy to get the um, dirt out of the, of the dishes. Like everything comes off really easily. And now it's perfectly clean without any chemicals, without any dish washing or um, di uh, washing up liquid, and it's perfectly fine. So all of these pears are fermenting, is that right? I'll, uh, I'm going to grind them mm -hmm. and uh, let, leave them to ferment for a couple of weeks and then I'll boil them and the alcohol that comes out of that process I'll boil it again and that is called a beverage, an alcohol beverage, about 60, uh, 52 degrees uh, It's called Palinka in this region of Europe in Hungary, in Romania, it's called like this. It's a very uh, desirable alcohol beverage. It's made by, from natural products without any preservatives or any kind of chemicals. to start cooking and basically these are beans from his garden he tells me that they're very precious and expensive beans and they're all organic and all just literally straight from his garden so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna yeah he told me that you have to boil them first and I think they take a while <laughs> cooking now and here is our it's a bit like a vegetable stew maybe there's a bit too much water in it um we've got the fire in here's knee high eating his <laughs> it's so tasty
small little paradise that I found in Romania. Just complete nature and really nice natural place to live. Everything that we eat, everything that we do is basically in a natural way. So we're not harming the environment, we're not harming ourselves and I really like that idea.